Hey everyone, my name is Becky, I am Amy, and this is my Amy. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Oh, I'm in the middle of a flare-up. And, um... And my brother's come to stay. And... Oh... Uh, I just want to... <laughs> I feel like I'm dying right now. Literally, like all I need, what I need, what I know I need is to stay in bed and rest for a day, maybe two, where I just can sleep. But I can't. I have to get up. Um. And, you know, sit with him and talk and do what I need to do. Um, be sociable, I guess. I'm just so exhausted. He's only been here a couple of days and I love, I love seeing him. I love him being here. I don't get to see him very often. Um... Maybe like he's like three times a year at the minute, like when he gets a holiday or comes to me. And I love spending time with him, but my god, am I exhausted? I really am. Um, but I've been trying to do productive things while he's here, trying to do a bit of work. Um, my sleep is so broken because, um, Dante now has his collar off, his, his buster collar and that off. He's back to being a, a normal cat, as normal as Dante can be, which is amazing. It's wonderful and great, but he's so, I don't know. He's so demanding right now. And he's waking me up every couple of hours in the night for some reason. Just to like meow. And it, I think maybe because he didn't eat well, much while he had the collar on. Now he's just eating, eating, eating. Which really isn't like him. He's not a big eater. Ooh, so that doesn't help. Um... I'm managing to have a little lie-in because he's, my brother and my youngest have popped out for a bit, so, uh, also yesterday, um, my eldest, um, might make a video on, on the condition at some point, um, because it's not very nice at all. Um, my eldest uh, suffers from bipolar disorder. And yesterday he hit his depressive stage. Um, and so I was on the phone with him for a good two hours. <gasps> Ooh, I was trying to talk him down off that ledge and that was, you know... So, it's very emotional and it's very draining for me. I kind of know what I need to say and what I need to, and you know, all that stuff. Um, and I, I think I successfully manage it. I think I successfully managed to help him. But it, it's really horrible. It's horrible to hear him that way because they're so. No. It's like the world's ending and there's nothing you can say or do. The world's ending for them. Um. But I left him feeling better. And that's, that's the main thing. 
Oh, I hate this. Uh, that illness is so horrible. It really is. I wish I could take it away from him. <sighs> I can't. But, as I said, I might make a video on it at some point. Um, I never realised until having to live with it myself just how horrible the illness is. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Mr. Demandy Pants. Um, Mr. Demandy Pants. Yes. Yes. I don't know if you can see him. I can't really see properly in his eye. No, you can't. Um, Mamma Turns. Yeah, anyway. This is what I have to put up with. Every like, couple of hours. Right? Uh, he's been outside briefly. Shush! He's been outside briefly. But, um... Yes? Right in my ears. See how he does that? He does that in the night. That's how he wakes me up. Let me feed the beast some dreamies, if I can find where I put them. There they are. Sorry about that. Um, I know, I did dreamies. So I open them. There we go. So, that's that, I think. I, I don't know what else to say. I've got to get up in a minute. <laughs> Because I'll be back. Oh, I try and act as normal as possible, but... Oh, it's so hard. And also, I hate sitting there going on and moaning about how I'm ill and how I feel ill. Um, which I'm not normally like, I don't think. But um, when you're feeling bad, it's kind of all you want to say, <laughs> So bad. I feel so bad. I want to die. So, <sighs> hopefully, I can get an early night tonight. I don't know whether I will. I don't know. I'm just not falling asleep until like three o'clock in the morning, and then somebody's waking me up every couple of hours. Um, that's it. So yeah, I'm in this, I think I made a video about this a while ago, um, when you've got people coming over and guests. Um, I don't think I was this bad last time, I'm not sure. Shh, you just had dumb dreamies. Maybe you can see him, you can't see him. So, I'm going to leave it at that because somebody's being rather annoying. Somebody also needs a tablet. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. What are you doing? What are you doing? Is your mum puppy? Don't touch the cat. Don't touch it. Mummy Sim loves. Yes, Mummy Sim loves. So, yeah. I'm going to go. I should call this a diary. Because it kind of is. I don't know when I'll, when I'll post next. Um, I'm looking forward to sleeping for like a week. Um, but I'm kind of starting to panic over Christmas and stuff. So there's that. Um, and so I shall... Love you and leave you. Um, thank you. Oh, man, turn. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for being here. It's been wonderful to talk to you. Coming out of the way, you're in the light. Mama turns you in the light. <laughs> um, I'm trying to end the video. Stop. <sighs> so, if you would like to join me on my journey through this illness and through life, please subscribe. It would be lovely to have you along. 
Um, if, <laughs> if you get a sec and you don't mind, please click the like button. It really helps me out. Um, my social media links are down below if you want to contact me on there. Um, I'm a bit crap at posting, but I'll, I answer people on there all the time. So. Oh, great. And he's just shut the curtain. Okay. I'm going to go. <laughs> Thank you for listening. And I'll speak to you soon. As soon as I can. Goodbye.